What's going on guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode. We're going to be checking out this really, really awesome Hot Wheels Super Rigs Rat Rig. Yes, and it's got the Bone Speeder in there. How awesome. Let's check out this little card art there too. Very, very awesome. And you see this Rat Rig here with the Bone Shaker skull on the front there too. Absolutely awesome. All right, let's check out the back here. Uh, some extra information there, detachable trailer, and there is the rat rig there. How awesome does this look? Very, very cool. And you can see the bone speeder sitting just there. And a little bit more information there for you also. These are the rest of the vehicles in this lineup. And uh, yeah, the, sh the Sky Show rig looks really cool. The uh, plane for that is really, really awesome. The whole alteration, you can see a review on that on my playlist if you'd like to go and see that. And the tuned up, I definitely want to buy that one also. That is really, really awesome. Uh, extra information, you can pause and read that if you wish. And a barcode to scan and uh, hopefully you'll be able to find this one in your area. Wow, just such a cool, cool looking car and truck combination. Uh, let's not waste any time. Let's just get this to fall out of the box. There we go. And there's a little bit more of the picture of the card art there with the super rigs just there. Pop that off to the side because we do not need to see that. And we will just have a quick look at the super rig. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It doesn't actually fit onto the, the trailer. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, okay, a little bit of a little bit of a strange thing to see just there. Wow, this is such a cool, cool looking trailer. This rusty brown kind of colour. Wow. And you have all that patina on there as well, all the rust showing through there too. And we're just going to quickly detach this trailer. They'll just a pop off and pop on. A straight up, straight down mechanism there. And let's check it out. Wow. <laughs> oh, this looks so cool. It's got the exhaust stacks in the roof there. All right, let's start at the front. There we go. You can see the bone shaker skull on the front there. Has the headlights there also. Wow. This has two engines. That is insane. That is super cool. It's a very shiny black plastic. So I hope you guys can see all of the detail in there because there's quite a fair amount of detail there too. Oh, it seems to have side exit exhausts also. Oh, that is so cool. Wow, nice gray five spoke wheels. And let's have a look on the side here. Hot wheels, uh, what does that say? Stripes, letters, and I can't quite read the bottom part there. Hopefully you guys can read that. As you can see, the pinstriping around here looks absolutely awesome, going all the way through there. It's a uh, nice silver pinstriping that they have there, and the letters are all pinstriped also. And that, yeah, as I said, that rust coming through the door there with that little patina style look is incredibly cool. A little bit of a look at the interior. Sunroof on the top there, it also has some horns and some lights in the casting there. Huge wheels on the back there. We have a a dual axle on the back. Uh, we have the uh, airbags in the back there. I'm not entirely sure what these would be now that you mention it. Uh, we have the side exit exhaust for the engines there, but I'm not too sure what these parts here are for. Seems to be part of this air tank area there. A chrome piece here for the third wheel, or the third wheel hitch I should say. And the back there has a little license plate area and some more little it looks like there's more exhaust pipes there, but I'm sure that those are not exhaust pipes, but it does quite look like them. You can kind of see that there. Uh, if anybody knows a little bit more about trucks, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, oh, there's more of them just there as well. So whatever these are, there's actually four of them. So do not know what those are. And the livery on this side here is the same as on the other side there too. And I don't know if you can tell, but the actual cabin is on an angle as well. That looks really, really cool. Nice tilted cab there. 
Yes, these engines look absolutely awesome. That color, say a uh, satin red or a satin brown. More of a satin brown, like a rusty color brown, but it's very, very nice. You can see a little bit of the metallic inside there as well. And uh, black chrome throughout there as well. Shiny chrome and some black chrome there. That is super cool. And the skull on the front there, it's got a little bit of a front splitter there as well. And we'll have a quick look at the base while we are here. And uh, there we go. Hopefully you guys can read all of that. Rat rig. Yeah, so a super shiny black base for that, so it's very, very hard to see. And we'll pop this down here as well. And we'll check out this really, really cool trailer. It's got a gooseneck style trailer there. Pretty awesome. And see on the side here, it says that same color. Uh, this is all a plastic piece here with a metal base. Very, very nice. And look at all the rust coming through. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's actually textured rust. <laughs> rust and what looks to be like some tree moss. Yeah, possibly some tree moss there. It's been sitting underneath the trees for a while. Uh, all this pinstriping is absolutely awesome. I love that. It's got some extra lights on the side there. That silver pinstripe looks incredibly cool. Same wheels on the back. Uh, also has some chains and some hooks. And there's also a rat. There's a rat in there as well. Ah, oh, this is why you have to open these things up. There's also a little spanner there as well, a little open end spanner and a ring end on that end there. And you see all the sparkle in the actual plastic here as well. That is so awesome. And the uh, tilt tray for the back uh, slides up and then clicks downward. So you go up and open. So yeah, nice. Sits there very securely. And on the back here, we have the Hot Wheels stripes and letters handcrafted. That's what that said. And that pinstriping looks really, really cool. And we get all this patinaed, rusty moss looking effect on the back there as well. Wow, so much detail on this trailer. It is really, really cool. That is so awesome. And this is kind of like a greeny black kind of color for all of this rusted patinaed section there. Beautifully done. That is absolutely awesome. Yes. Wow, that is so cool. And there is the base there for you, the rat rig. Very, very nice. All right, we'll grab this, put this over here. There we go, click that into place. We'll lift this up, drop that down to get it nice and ready for the bone speeder. And as you can see, the bone speeder has that same angled cab there very very nice to see uh, same color gray for these wheels but they're a different style of wheel they're more of an off-road kind of wheel uh, yeah pretty awesome these appear to be a new design uh, very very chunky looking very chunky looking wheels and on the front there we have a little grill we have some uh i do not know what that is it looks like some springs or something there possibly not entirely sure and extra suspension pieces and all of that in there. Open roof bone speeder. And a central seating position there as well. Wow. Uh, exhaust stacks off to the side and the engine in the center there of the back. Nice racing wing on there as well. That looks really, really cool. Uh, same pinstriping design on the side of this one. Lots of that rusted patina looking thing there yeah not a bad looking vehicle extra so much extra detail on this it's kind of hard to pinpoint one particular spot to have a look at uh transmission on the back there and some brake lights i assume just there and the pinstriping on this side is the same as the other side and the hot wheels logo on the rear of the wing as well that is so cool and there we have the base there plastic base and bone speeder that is super awesome very very cool uh these front wheels seem to be a little bit wider than the rear wheels i don't know if you can see that you to kind of <laughs> you can kind of see just how much it's actually sticking out there maybe if i line that up a little bit there for the camera you can actually see that it's actually a lot wider on the front than on the back and unfortunately because of that it doesn't actually fit into the the trailer 
That's a little bit unfair. That's, yeah. <laughs> and you can see here just how much they actually do not fit on here. We'll try and get a good angle of this. You can see the back wheels sitting there quite nicely, but unfortunately the, uh, the front wheels, they, uh, they overhang. So I do not know why that that is, but it's a little bit unfair because this is such a cool looking casting. Uh, but you can't, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. So you'll have to let me know what you guys think of this uh, rat rig. Really, really awesome. I think this is probably the coolest design out of all of the super rigs that have been re released so far. And I'm incredibly happy to have this in the collection. I, I, as I said, I love the bone, bone shaker and the bone speed is a really, really cool one as well. Uh, the Bone Shaker style truck here is absolutely awesome. The best thing ever. So cool. And the only letdown is that the it doesn't fit in the trailer properly. I'll turn this around a little bit, see if we can get it to fit in there. No, it's still just uh, it's still just sitting on top of the edge of the the trailer. So very unfortunate about that. But other than that, this is probably one of the coolest things I think I've ever found. We'll pop this down there and it doesn't want to sit in there because the wheels are not holding into position because they're too wide. But we'll have to leave it there. There we go. As soon as I move it, it falls again. Get that back into it. Try and fit that into there so it'll stay secure. And there we go. Let's zoom the camera in just a little bit. We'll fiddle the camera around so we get a little bit better angle pop that up there and there we go guys you'll have to let me know what you guys think of the awesome bone speeder i think that just looks really really awesome there we go guys i'm going to wrap it up there thank you for joining me don't forget to like comment subscribe all that jazz and until the next time take care of yourselves and i'll see you all then